March 5, 1980, we lost a wonderful man, Jay Silverheels. This special award is for Jay Silverheels. Jay was a full-blooded Mohawk Indian. He was born on the Six Nations Reservation in Brantford, Canada. When he was a young man, he came to the United States of America and made this country his home. Jay was very proud of the Indian people. And the Indian race was extremely proud of their son, Tano. Tano, of course, was my sidekick. He said to me one time, ah, oh, that's right, you Kimo Sabe, which means faithful friend. Jay was a fine athlete. He was a golden glove boxer, a lacrosse player, and an excellent hand on a horse. 1949, I shook hands with Jay for the very first time. There was a bond between the white man and an Indian. Jay was a wonderful man. He had a great sense of humor, played a lot of tricks. As a matter of fact, the very first time that we shook hands, he said to me, he says, you know, Clay, you remind me of a poor man's Chester Morris. <laughs> he truly is missed. I loved him very much as a sidekick and a very faithful friend and a man. And now, this special award that I'm going to present is to the Jay Silverheels family. Jay's wife was named Mary. He had three daughters, Marilyn, Pam, Karen, and a son, Jay Silverheels, Jr. I would like to present that award to the Silverheels family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was a great, great man. The Silver Hills family, Mary, Jay Jr., and Marilyn. I want to thank you for this award, and thank you, Clay, for the wonderful words. And I had uh, butterflies in my stomach earlier, now I have a lump in my throat. <laughs> and I think I'll let my son take over. I had, I had butterflies too. <laughs> Always do. Boy, what an honor. This is, this is truly a great honor. We are so proud to be receiving this award for my father on his behalf. Uh, he loved this industry and he loved the people in it. And he always considered himself very fortunate and privileged to be a part of it. This award is confirmation that the industry and the wonderful people in it felt the same towards him. And uh, it's just a wonderful privilege. My father was always striving to portray the Indian in a, in a more positive light, with the exception of a few roles. And uh, both on and off the screen, and we believe that he accomplished this with great success. And again, this, this award commemorates that as well. I would like to thank Connie Moore for nominating him. Thank you, Connie. And the committee for honoring him with this, this great award. Thank you. <laughs>